What's up, Sensi fans? It's Patricia, and welcome to the scent of the month for June 2023 with Sensi. I'm going to show you the warmer. We'll talk about it briefly, but then we'll move into the scent. I just want to say my daughter's downstairs making pasta, so if you hear a very loud fan noise, I apologize. So let's talk about the warmer of the month. It is called On the Seashore. I will run some pictures of it here. Sensi says, hand-placed glass tiles capture the deep turquoise hues and subtle brown accents where the sea meets the sand. So it is one of those kind of mosaic warmers that has glass and mortar around it. It does have more glass than mortar, so perhaps that is why they use a 40 watt Edison bulb. So sometimes you hear 40 watt and you think, oh my gosh, that must be so, so, so powerful. Now keep in mind, the glass is gonna bring that intensity down because it doesn't hold the heat in as well. So it actually usually gets pretty close to a 25 watt ceramic bulb warmer. Sometimes it's even less. So this one will be featured at a 10% off discount for the month of June. I will put the prices down in the description box below. All right, let's talk about the scent of the month, which is always my favorite part. It is called Pacific Mist. So every month, Scentsy gives us a different scent to kind of explore and highlight for the month. It's featured at 10% off and they offer in bar room spray and scent circles. So that's great. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna read you the description, I'll smell it, and then we'll talk a little bit about it. So this one is in the fresh category. And like I said, it's called Pacific Mist. So Sensi says, misty ocean air wafts through coastal sea salt and driftwood with a buoyant touch of tropical nectar. All right, so let's smell it. I have smelled this and I've actually warmed it. <laughs> I've warmed it down in Drew's room. So I'm just gonna tell you, this is probably my favorite scent of the month easily this year. It's not a love, but I am so intrigued with it and I re it really is appealing to me. So anyway, spoiler alert, I do really like this one. All right, now every member of my family when they smell it, and even me, we probably all had the same reaction. We were like this and we went, oh, like that was our reaction. But there's something about this that I really, really enjoy. Now, if you know me at all, you know that I don't love a lot of Scentsy's aquatic <laughs> scents because they can be very harsh, they always tend to lead a little bit masculine and there's just something about them I don't love. The other thing is I, I really dislike salty scents. <laughs> so you're thinking, well, why would you like this one? And the answer is I really don't know, but I think what it is is there's that tropical nectar. Okay, I think what I'm getting is a lot of the driftwood. I do tend to like driftwood. The, the ocean Pacific misty thing going on, it kind of reads a little bit aquatic, but almost like, like a feminine aquatic or something. And there's a little bit of underlying sweetness. It must be the tang of the tropical nectar. Anyway, let's break down the notes. So the top note it says is coastal sea salt. Now, early on in the warming, I, I found this fairly respectable. It was probably about in Drew's room, easily an eight out of 10 for the first maybe four to six hours. And then it kind of goes down to a lighter level. So we're on day two in Drew's room. I just really, really enjoy it. And Lisa Roberry said it kind of reminds her of um, Frozen to the North Calls. And I can definitely see that, almost like a summer version of Frozen to the North Calls, but stronger and more noticeable. So mid notes, <laughs> I'm rambling. Mid notes, it says touch of tropical nectar. I'm gonna say, yeah, there's something in there that's like tropical and fun and like fruity and sweet that kind of blends in here. And part of me at certain times was like, I don't know if this, everything's coming together, but 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 I'm very intrigued and I, I wanted to warm this again since I've been warming it in Drew's room. So I always think that's a good sign. Base note, it says driftwood. So there you go. Now, are there other notes in here that they're not sharing? That would be the burning question, I'm not sure. But I'm pleasantly surprised. I had written this one off that I wasn't gonna like it. And this one has intrigued me quite a bit and I will, I might even pick more, more up. So I have, I have a total of four. I've already worked through one because I made some samples and I warmed it in Drew's room, but I might even contact my director and say, whatever bars you don't sell, I'll get them from you <laughs> because I don't know, I, I do like this one. So hopefully if you pick the whiff box up, you will get to have a little sneak peek sample. If not, I would definitely say add it to your list in June to give a try. It is a different scent and I hope you would enjoy it. It's about a medium intensity in bedrooms. Starts off a little bit above medium, then dips down to maybe a medium to a medium light. And uh, so far we're on day two, I'm, I'm very happy. 
So anyway, thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. Let me know what you think of the warmer and let me know if you're excited to pick up the scent. Take care and I will see you guys in the next video.